Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I am so excited to share with you guys what I found. And actually, I didn't found it. I, it was somewhere. It was in one of my drawers. But um, I found my I have my diary. This is like my first, first, first diary. Like when I was like I don't know, eleven. I started writing a diary. It was actually given to me as a gift. Um, on my birthday, if I'm correct, politically correct, I think it was given to me on a, on a birthday maybe, and uh, by a friend of mine because at that age I was young, I'm still learning about myself and what I want to do and stuff. So um, yeah, that that was like preteen stage where you're just trying to figure out who you are and blah blah blah. So anyways. All right, so anyways, let me, I want to point out a few things because there's just so much. And, okay, I'm going to be honest, you know, with myself. I grew up in a very dysfunctional family, as I can see here, reading a few things. I'm like, girl, you, you're going through something. Like, it's just so much. It's just like, listen, it's just, look, it's just so much going on. Like, I can't even... These stories, I have to like bullet point few things that I want to talk about. And I think it's very good to have for a young girl, like growing up to have a diary. I think everyone should, not boys, I don't know if boys write, di write in their diaries, but I think girls, especially for girls, um, to kind of express themselves, especially because we live a lot in our minds and our head and and we got so much to talk about sometimes. I mean, I had a lot to talk about. And I'm sure that's not even all of everything. Like, look at that. I wrote in all the pages. Like, it, I mean, look look at this. Like, I, I don't even, I can't even read everything. Like, I don't know what's going on with me. But, I, I mean, I was reading a few things. Like, man, if anybody get a hold of this, if anybody get a hold of this, man, write a, write a book. Make a movie out of this, out of those, because this, this is definitely a chronicle. Uh, this, this is definitely a memoir of what's in my brain. But, okay, I mean, without even saying too much about my personal life, which you will later on know about, but... I just wanted to say, like, like I said earlier, about the importance of writing. I mean, I was really, like, writing my life out and my, my feelings, my emotion, and what I was thinking, how I felt, what this person and that person made me feel. Um, I can say I talked about, uh, uh, about love a lot and being in love. I guess I didn't get that much love or something where I felt I didn't feel love enough. But, um, I grew up in a broken home, um, separated household. Uh, my father's side of the family are all the way in Canada. Then my mom's side of the family are all the way in Florida. So, you can just imagine, you know, all that I had to, uh, experience. Now, okay, so, man, I have, you know, one thing I know for sure I'm I'm talking about guys, boys liking me in in elementary school, my and me liking this boy, my first love. And then sorry, I'm just I had to read a few things here. Hold on. Woo! It's good. Alright, so I was still confident in myself. I must have been really pretty because I talk about that a lot in there. That they they like me and stuff. Um. Ooh. Ooh, this is good. This is good. This part. Apparently my mom got a hold of my diary, right? And she read my diary. And I'm just talking about how mad I was that she, she read my diary and talked to me about it or whatever. And told me, she ain't talked to me about it. She just told me that she read my diary. So guess what? She also had a diary. And she don't know this, but she probably don't know now because I'm telling y'all. 
that I read her diary and I'm gonna say I'm not gonna say what I I'm not gonna say what I've seen in there okay and I didn't even know actually she it says she she was married with this man and I don't even think I knew this man that she's talking about but I read her diary. Bottom line, I read her diary because I was mad because she read mine. So I got a hold of hers and I read hers. So it was just kind of weird that she had a diary. I didn't think that, well, I ain't going to say I, don't, I didn't think that older people, because I, now I do have diaries. I have like so many notebooks, diaries that I write in because I, like I said, I have so much going on and not enough time. Um, you know, especially for an overthinker. Like if you're an overthinker, it's very important. I think it's, it's, Therapeutic, I think, is helpful to put down or write down your thoughts and how you feel. Like, I think it's a good way to to let go, you know, to to express yourself. And I, like I said, I encourage everyone to anyone to have. If you don't want to do the diary thing, if it's it, it may be too sensitive for you. If you're a man, I would say a notebook. Like, start writing. But yeah, so I'm talking about that. Listen, I had, oh, I was also, I mean, I had so much going on in high school. I mean, I'm talking about high school, first day of high school, meeting friends, things like that. I'm talking about, um, I even, which is so interesting, y'all, like, it's, it's so interesting. Okay, I'm going to read it. Okay. From now on, I'm going to write in my zip code. So I actually, I don't know what what I want to what that mean, but it says I am going to write in my zip code. So if my mom ever tries to read, she won't read my diary. She won't know. She won't know what it means. These are going. These words or whatever. I guess what I'm saying is, this is going to be the most secret thing in my life. Only God and I will know what it means. I'll keep it to myself. I really don't want nobody to know and how, you know how to read my diary. Guess what? I made up my own language. This was back in 1998, y'all. Look, I made up my own code, okay? I guess it says zip code back then. I don't know. I made up my own language, and I'm trying to crack the code. I've been trying to read, trying to figure out what this means, y'all. Like, I don't know what the heck is this. Like, it's just, it's just so fascinated, fascinating that I even took the time to make my own alphabet with drawings. Look how it look. Like, what is this? What does this mean? I don't know what's going on. And, like, I said, only God and I would know. But at this point, I guess only God knows what this means because I don't know what's going on here. Like, I, I'm, I will try to crack the code, but... Girl, what was you going through? Like, I just had to ask myself that, um, which is so funny. Also, you know, oh my God. I was, I had, my first boyfriend on here was a, was a blind date. I don't, I can't even understand. I don't even know why I even accept or agreed to be with somebody that I've never seen before. So, catfish, like we talked we sit now in our days. So I'm, catfishing was way back in the days then because this is back in uh, 1999. I had this guy. I'm not going to say his name because he's, he's still still present. We were talking on the phone. We I don't even know why, how that happened because I knew my mom was very strict. So I don't know how we even was able to talk on the phone that long but apparently we talked on the phone and he asked me out and i said yes because he like i said here he was baptized he go to church and he has his head on his shoulder and he and he's he's a good man so anyways i'm just talking going on and on about the guy but i never seen him and then um i talk about my friend actually setting the date for us to meet. So, okay, so now I remember what happened. So along the line, I went, we went, um, I was supposed to meet him at my school, okay? We were supposed to meet at my school and he was in a classroom, I don't know. He wasn't in, in a classroom. Actually, he was in a cafeteria. 
He was in the cafeteria, and um, he was there before I got there. And uh, the door was closed, but there was like a window, a glass window, where I could see him, but he couldn't see me. So um, my girlfriend was telling me, like, hey, he's there, you know, just, just go in there and just start talking, whatever. So I was so scared. I, I Man, I was just so scared, but... So I go, I didn't go in. I actually uh, was walking towards the cafeteria and I like, I looked through the door window and I seen this guy and, and he was, he was like, so, I mean, he was a big fella. Like he was big, like he was like very big. And I can remember it was like, I was so shocked and like, like, it, he was like, you know, unfortunately, you know, as shallow as it seemed, it sound, I was not into it. Like, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe it that, and I think my friend hooked me up with him or whatever. And, um, man, I just ran. I ran home. I was in, two, you know, I didn't live far away from school at the time, so I ran home. And I never showed up. Like, he never knew that I even was there. I didn't even, like, um... I didn't even like made a sound. I just ran. I, I just remember running, going straight home. And then he called me, and I know I do remember saying, telling my friend, I can't believe that she would do this to me. He's totally not my type. Why would you like send me up with somebody that that looks like that or whatever? And um, she, I think she was saying here, and this is reading. This is back in the day. This is not who I am now, whatever. But um, she was like. That she was trying to get back at me because apparently I hooked her up with somebody that she didn't like or or broke up with her or whatever. And that was a way to get back at me. Like, what kind of friend is that? Girl, why you going? What kind of friend? So anyways, the guy called me back and he was crying and he was he couldn't believe it that, you know, and I told him I just not ready to be in a relationship. And I, I think I just just kind of blew it off. And that was that. That that was that from that. I'm just, man, look, I, I am, I'm just saying, but ugh, I don't know what to do with this. Like, there's just so much, so many stories on here. So many days of, I'm talking, like, I'm, I, like, one thing for sure, I really talk about, I talk a lot about family. I talk a lot about love and being loved, being in a relationship being or finding the right man or finding the right one which well, she shouldn't be finding the right man they should be a man is a man that finds a wife but i'm like really young right here and i'm really like i'm talking about a lot of stuff that i i didn't even remember happened to me um another thing i wanted to point out is that i talk about talk about my dad um Talk about my dad a lot because I grew up with my dad. And I talk about my mom too. And the relationship that I had with my mom, which was not so such a great relationship because we didn't have that mother-daughter bond growing up because I grew up with my father. And I didn't really meet my mom until later on in life. And that probably is going to be another video that I'll talk about. But I do talk about, you know, mother-daughter disconnection here. I do see that here. I do see how I'm needing to have a connection with her but it was not happening she was more of a strict mother like tough love kind of mother and I didn't I, I like I say in here I, it's not like I think she didn't love me but she didn't know how it seems like uh oh man I, I see here that also that was a heartbreaker here I, I'm telling these these boys I don't know I, I want to be with them but I don't want to be with them indecisive I mean it's a lot it's a lot also growing up y'all my birthday I used to hate my birthday I don't even think I even celebrate my birthday like I don't I don't think number one when I used to live with my father's side of the family they I we grew up in a Jehovah Witness home so we didn't believe in no holidays no pagan because they you know that religion is like they believe that those are pagan holidays which they are but um, we didn't celebrate Christmas. We didn't celebrate none of that. And I didn't even care for it because we never, I, it never was something I grew up seeing. So it was okay. 
And even my birthday, we didn't even celebrate that. And I guess it was all right. And so um, I moved in with my mother and I seen them celebrating those holidays, them celebrating uh, um, like birthdays and stuff like that. One thing I know I see here is that I didn't love, I did not like my, my birthday because my birthday always fell on the first day, first day of school, which no child want to go to school on the first day on their birthday. I used to hate it. I used to hate it. I used to ask my mom. I'm reading right here. Sorry, y'all. I'm talking to y'all and I'm reading at the same time. Um, I'm, I was used to ask my mom if I had to go to school and I had to because it was the first day of school. I used to hate it, y'all. Like, Oh, man. So, anyways, um, it's just so much. There's just so much in here. It's just so much to talk about. Oh, man. Listen, and one thing I'm talking about here that's so important, especially growing up in a Haitian household, you know, I think parents um, are very disconnected sometimes with their child and not wanting to talk to them about certain topics uh, because eventually we're going to learn those things in school, like, you know, like sex and, and being with a boyfriend or girlfriend. We're going to learn those things. I mean, I'm talking about here, like I'm laying it out. Like I was seven, no, I was 16, going on 17, but I had a boyfriend and apparently my mom find out about it. And so I'm just, but I, I didn't want to tell her, like she found out about it but didn't or couldn't talk to me about it. So it remained, it was hidden from her. It was hidden. Like, I wouldn't, you know, as much as I wanted to talk to her about it and, you know, it, I just wouldn't tell her. Like, I would talk to, you know, counselors at school about it and my other friend's mother about it, but not her. And it, it was very hard. It was very hard, but I, I here I'm saying, like, you know, I guess it doesn't matter if she wants to talk to me or not, because what she doesn't want to talk to me, I'm going to learn it. I'm going to learn it in school. Okay, so, and I'm, man, I'm laying my heart out, y'all. Man, I'm talking about, about being bet betrayed. I am talking about... Losing my virginity, of course. Man, I am, man. So, listen, that was it. I, I'm not going to say too much more. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but, oh, man, I wish, like, everybody should have a diary. I mean, it's, it's, I don't think, if I didn't have a diary, I don't think I would be the same in my life now. Like, I think I had too much going on. For me not to have one and i encourage everybody to have one especially now in the day in the days that we live in most people live in their mind most people live in their thoughts and hopefully i hope it is more more positive than none whatever you have up here and anyways so that was it for today um hope you enjoy my one-on-one -on -one talk with y'all and uh yes y'all have a good day Bye.